All right, so welcome to Photoshop. So this is Cinemagraph 2. So this is going to be how to create a Cinemagraph in Photoshop. So what we're going to do is, I've got this video file. This is the one we're going to use. You literally just got to drop that in Photoshop and it will open up in the timeline and you should be good to go. So this process is a little bit different if you just watch the Final Cut uh, Pro one. This is a... Uh, uh, Quite a bit different so what we're going to do here is and we're going to get down here this is a really excited wait till you see this like killer jump that i make here so what i want to do is try to get a still frame so i'm looking for a specific still frame oh yeah look at the height on that yeah that's good we need that so i'm going to create what's called a stamp visible in photoshop and that is command alt shift e and so you can see over here we created a stamp visible all right so this is right here um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, two more of these video groups so we're gonna hit new video group new video group because we want to and we're gonna move this still image to the very top and uh, we'll just leave that there for now um, so I'm gonna slide this up a little bit whoops a little bit so we have a little more room all right let's get rid of that all right so now what we need is the as soon as I get out of the way then use a little bit less and because you're gonna need a little more before it so what I'm looking for is just the river moving I probably should have shot a little more but I didn't so what I'm gonna do is slide this over to the timeline and we should just be able to use to the end there. We should be good. So I'm going to take this and slide that up to spot number two here. And we'll just move that there. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. get our timeline all the way over all right so we've got our still image and you can see I'm not moving up here and then below it we have the image um, where I'm actually moving so if I slide this over you can see not moving not moving and then we've got the river moving so what we need to do is make a mask so it masks me in the still image so we're going to slide this all the way over. Make sure you're selected on the top image here because that's pretty important. And we are going to come down here and make a mask. And so there's our mask. White is showing everything, but we don't want that. So what we're going to do actually is I'm going to just for room, I'm going to slide this down. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to try to use the quick selection tool here to make a selection on me. Now, I didn't want to get everything but me right there. I'll come up here. That's not a big deal because it doesn't have to be the world's most accurate mask. And we'll just... A little hard with this green, but that's okay. There we go. So we've got that. We'll add here and if we missed any little bits it's not a huge deal because it's easy to uh, alter a mask so now we need to fill this with black so it it selects that out so we'll go to edit fill and we will fill that with black as you see you can see I'm totally gone so we don't want me gone we want everything else gone so we're gonna Ah, there we go. So I had to deselect first and then switch invert that. So there we go. So now we have the mask. So now when I click on this, we can see I'm flying high in the sky and the water is passing by me. All right. It looks like there was a little hitch here at the end.
Yeah, it looks like when I was walking up, it moved a little bit. So let's get rid of a little bit of that. That should be okay. So next thing we're going to do here is I'm just going to slide this back a little bit then. Um, all right. So we have the fixed and this is fixed. And that should, that should fix that. So we're going to take this layer and copy it. And then we're going to hit Command-V and we're going to duplicate it. Now we want this playhead and this playhead to be in the same spot, all right? And this is a little confusing. Then what we're going to do is we're going to slide. This playhead's not going to move. We're just going to add video that's before this clip. That's why we left a little. So you can see I want to go, I don't want to go too far where I'm in the image. So we'll just come here, which is good. And then we're going to take this clip and drag it to the end which is exactly what we want. So then you're going to click, uh, select the top clip and you're going to hit this little drop down arrow and you should have opacity and you're going to click on opacity and it is my fault. You're going to, before you click on opacity, you want the uh, little time editor to be at the beginning of this clip right here. Then you're going to hit opacity and it's going to set a keyframe. Then you're going to drag about halfway you're going to set, click on the little diamond and make another keyframe. And you're going to go up and you're going to change this opacity to zero. And then you're going to slide this keyframe to the end. And this is going to uh, make the loop. So hopefully there's not much of a hitch or you, that you can't see um, when one begins and the other ends. So you'll see this will go and fade into the other clip and go around here and it just keeps revolving and it looks like it never stops moving and that's how to do kind of the real in Photoshop animated GIF version of a cinemagraph now this is not the most exciting uh, award-winning image but um, just a tutorial this isn't something that I really do much of so once you've got that uh, kind of going we'll hit stop that's basically all you need to do. So now we're going to save this out. And this is just like before, or if you're new, you are going to go to File, Export. And remember, this takes a little bit of time for it to work because I have it kind of optimized. So once you get there, if it looks like your uh, computer's timing out, it's not. It's just kind of rendering this video and getting everything ready to go. So just kind of hang out for a second and wait for the next screen to pop up. All right, so here is uh, that next screen. So you're going to have this set to GIF selective. Diffusion should be at 100. Color should be 256. Um, no transparency. Monitor color all in 100%. And this is how big you decide it. I don't want mine to be 1920 by 1080, so I'll just make mine 1080. And we'll save that. Now it's going to have to re-go through this information here so I've got to wait before I can hit save so it's got to go through this process again so I've got to wait here for a second before I can hit save all right so it's kind of got that ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and click save here and we'll save this is me jump gif and we'll save that to the desktop and hit save so there we go so what we will do is I will um, off screen here I'm just gonna open that file let me jump and I'll drag this over so you can see it so there we go uh, a working cinemagraph so everything in the image is still that I told to be still yet the water is moving by so thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little something. Any comments or questions, let me know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.